Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's try an example of taking the derivative, in this case, of the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 4x to see how things would be a little bit different. And so we set y equal to the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 4x, which is equal to 1 half times the natural log of 1 plus 4x divided by 1 minus 4x. So instead of 1 plus x and 1 minus x, we have 1 plus 4x and 1 minus 4x. We're simply replacing x by 4x in our equation. So now when we take the derivative, we can now say that dy dx is equal to the derivative of what we have over there. So this is going to be equal to 1 half times the derivative of the natural log is 1 over that, or simply flip that over, so we get 1 minus 4x divided by 1 plus 4x times the derivative of what's inside there, which of course is a quotient. We're going to use the quotient rule. So we take the denominator, 1 minus 4x, times the derivative of the numerator, which is 4, minus the numerator, 1 plus 4x, times the derivative of the denominator, which is a minus 4, all divided by the denominator squared. Like this. And then you see, well, let me close the bracket here. And then you see that we have a 1 minus 4x over there and a 1 minus 4x squared over there. So this cancels out one of those. This becomes 1. And in the numerator, it looks like we could simplify that. So let's see what that ends up being. So it's 1 half times. We have 1 times what we have in the numerator. So let's multiply this out. We get 4 minus 16x. And then this minus will cancel out this minus, so we get 4, so that would be um, plus 4, and plus, I think I'm missing an x here. Yes, this should be plus 4x. There we go, that's better. So we have the denominator times the numerator minus the numerator. Yes, I, was, I forgot an x there, so this would be plus 16x, all divided by, now we have one of these left, 1 minus 4x. And here we have a minus 16x and a plus 16x, so this cancels out that, and 4 plus 4 is 8. So 8 times 1 half is 4, so this becomes equal to 4 divided by 1 minus 4x. But we still have the 1 plus 4x over here, so let's, let me just light, write it like this. So times 1 minus 4x, so we're not quite done yet, we now have to multiply those two in the denominator, so this becomes 4 divided by 1 minus 16x squared, and that looks like it's the legitimate derivative of the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 4x. So it's 4 divided by 1 minus 16x squared. If this had been the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x, it would be 1 over 1 minus x squared. So that's how it's different, and that's how it's done.